Welcome to TAO, your go-to podcast for the latest in tech, AI, and business news. I'm Sarah, your tech-savvy guide, and with me is Mike, who's always ready with the questions. Hey everyone, I'm really excited to dive into today's topics. So Sarah, where are we starting? First up, Apple is making waves again with their custom chip development. They're working on a low-power processor for smart wearable glasses, which is based on Apple Watch technology. They're also developing next-gen Mac processors and dedicated AI server chips for their Apple intelligence features. Wow, that's a lot of development. Why is Apple focusing so much on in-house silicon? Well, ever since the success of their M-series chips, Apple has been pivoting towards more in-house silicon. It gives them better control over performance and efficiency. They're aiming for mass production by late 2026 or 2027. That's quite a timeline. What's next on our list? Next, Baidu and Car Inc. have launched China's first autonomous car rental service. It's through Baidu's Apollo Driving Unit and Car Inc., and it's set to roll out in the second quarter of 2025. Autonomous car rental. How does that work? It's mainly targeting tourists and visitors to cultural sites, offering on-demand, self-driving transport. They plan to expand to more cities, focusing on safety and reliability, and they want to set industry standards. Sounds like a big step for autonomous vehicles in China. What else do we have? OpenAI has introduced GitHub integration for its deep research tool within ChatGPT. This allows users to link their repositories so ChatGPT can research code bases and generate analytical reports. So this is like an upgrade for developers using ChatGPT. Exactly. It enhances developer tooling alongside their open source Codex CLI and the new O3 and O4 Mini code generation models. It's all about making development more efficient. That's pretty exciting for developers. What's our next topic? Microsoft has banned its employees from using the DeepSeek app due to concerns over data security and potential Chinese propaganda. Data security, what's the issue there? DeepSeek stores user data on Chinese servers, which raises risks of state access. Still, Microsoft offers the underlying model on Azure with modifications to mitigate harmful side effects. That's a cautious approach. What do we have next? Bain Capital is exploring the sale of Wintriex DC Group's China data center operations, which could be valued at over $4 billion. Why are they selling it? The China unit was taken private in 2022 and later separated from Southeast Asia operations. Bain wants to retain the non-China business while tapping into elevated AI-driven valuations. Interesting strategy. What's coming up next? Pinterest has issued a revenue forecast that exceeds Wall Street estimates, which has driven their shares higher. What's behind this positive forecast? They credit strong advertiser spending on their AI-powered ad tools and direct response formats. Plus, they've seen robust user growth among Gen Z, despite a challenging macro backdrop. That's great news for Pinterest. What's our next topic? Nutanix and Pure Storage have formed a strategic partnership to co-develop a deeply integrated infrastructure solution. What does this partnership entail? It combines the Nutanix cloud platform with Pure Storage's flash array over NVMe slash TCP for high performance, mission critical workloads like AI. They aim to modernize virtual environments with scalability and flexibility with early access in summer 2025 and general availability by the end, end of 2025. Sounds like a powerful collaboration. What's last on our list? Lastly, UIDI has successfully piloted real-time Aadhaar face verification for NEAT UG 2025 candidates in Delhi in partnership with NTA and NI. Face verification for exams, that's new. Yes, it's aimed at bolstering exam security after the 2024 paper leak. 
However, it raises privacy concerns, especially regarding biometric data use and consent for minors. Similar systems are being trialed for medical college attendants. Definitely a topic that will spark a lot of discussions. Well, that's all the topics for today. Thanks for tuning into TAO. We hope you enjoyed the insights and updates. Until next time, stay curious and informed. Bye, everyone.